uh, a nuclear weapon. All right, as Commander in Chief, Senator Sanders, you've got to prioritize uh, potential threats to the United States. Three countries North Korea, Iran, Russia. How would you rank them in order of their threat to America's security right now? Starting ISIS. with the biggest threat. ISIS, you forgot one. No, 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 ISIS, ISIS would we've, be... we've had that. I'm talking about these three yeah. countries. How would you orient? How would you orient our uh, national security, our national well, defense clearly posture? Clearly, North Korea is a very strange situation because it is such an isolated country, uh, run by a handful of dictators, or maybe just one, who seems to be somewhat paranoid, uh, and who has nuclear weapons. Uh, and our goal there, in my view, is to work and lean strongly on China to put as much pressure. China is one of the few major countries in the world that has significant support for North Korea. And I think we've got to do everything we can to put pressure on China. So I, I worry very much about an isolated, paranoid country uh, with atomic bombs. Uh, I think clearly we have got to work closely with China to resolve mm -hmm. the serious problems we have. And right. I worry about Putin and his military adventurism uh, in the Crimea, uh, Crimea and uh, Ukraine. Uh, well, Secretary of Defense Ash Carter this week picked one of those three, and he has said Russia was the, basically the most important national security threat, sort of reorienting the defense and the challenges to that. Uh, do you agree with his decision? No, I don't. I worry, uh, I worry very, very much about an isolated country. That's what makes me nervous. Russia lives in the world. China lives in the world. North Korea is a very, very strange country because it is so isolated. And I do fear that a nation with... Uh, with nuclear weapons, uh, they have got to be dealt with and dealt with effectively. Secretary Clinton, what do you think of uh, Secretary of Defense Ash Carter? He's basically putting Russia above Iran, above North Korea, as sort of the chief national security challenge right now. Well, I haven't talked to, uh, talk to Secretary uh, Carter, but here's what I... Uh, would think he's uh, uh, planning. You know, we do have the nuclear weapons agreement with Iran. That's an enforcement consequence, action for action, follow on. We have a plan. We will watch them. We will be vigilant. We do have to worry about North Korea. They continue to develop their nuclear weapons capability, and they are working very hard on their ballistic missile capability. And I know that some of those uh, plans could very well lead to a missile that might reach Hawaii, if not the West Coast. And we do have to try to get the countries in the region to work with us to do everything we can to confine and constrain them. But what Secretary Carter is looking at is the constant pressure that Russia is putting on our European allies, the way that Russia is trying to move the boundaries of the post-World War II Europe, the way they, he is trying to set European countries against one another, seizing territory, holding it in Crimea, beginning to explore whether they could make some inroads in the Baltics. We know that they are deeply engaged in supporting Assad uh, because they want to have a place in the Middle East. They have a naval uh, base. They have an air base in Syria. They want to hang on to that. And I think what Secretary Carter is seeing, and I'm glad he is, is that we've got to get NATO back working for the common defense. We've got to do more to support our partners in NATO, and we have to send a very clear message to Putin that this kind of belligerence, this kind of testing of okay. boundaries will have to be responded to. And the best way to do that is put more armor in, put okay. more uh, money from the Europeans in so they're Thank actually uh, contributing more to their own defense. Thank you both. Rachel.